I'm Dr. Jennifer Warren, Medical Director of Physicians Healthy Weight Center, and I'm here with Melissa Clifford, owner of Sweet Melissa's Kitchen in Dover, New Hampshire. And we are going to, actually Melissa is going to show you a delicious, simple, healthy, low calorie recipe that is based on the New Nordic Diet. The New Nordic Diet is a similar in a way to the Mediterranean Diet, but it's based on foods used in Scandinavia. There is over 10 years of research with the Nordic diet, and it is very healthy, it is anti-inflammatory, it's great for insulin function, so if people are dealing with pre-diabetes or diabetes, it's very healthy for that. It can lower blood pressure and cholesterol, and it is delicious and filling also. So Melissa, what are we going to be making? We're going to make a braised red cabbage today. And we're gonna start with red cabbage, um, which is locally sourced here in Madbury, New Hampshire. And we're going to shred this cabbage. Don't we are going have to we, shred cabbage. I, am, oh, I have not mm -hmm. actually Maybe shredded I cabbage. Take it. So uh, yes. <laughs> we're going to take a head of cabbage. Safety cut the, first. <laughs> cut the core out of the cabbage, and then you could shred it by hand with, okay. with you know just with your knife. Right. We're going to use a mandolin. This is the apparently a mandolin. That's what that is. Yes. You had another name for it. I know. I was calling it my. I, something else. I think it was calling it something wrong. So oh, huh. that's the mandolin. So we're going to okay. give it a good good shred. Okay. All right. So now that we have our cabbage all shredded, we're going to go on to our next step to the red cabbage uh, and chop up an onion. And oh, look at that nice purple. Ooh, very good. I think it's more of a purple cabbage than a red cabbage. <laughs> Like Actually, pretty. I think it's kind of blue too. It's <laughs> so we're going to chop up our onion and we're going to saute the onion in some olive oil. No, canola oil. Because in this diet, we use a lot of canola oil. And good segue to talk about some other components of the New Nordic diet. It's a little bit different from the Mediterranean diet. Uh, it's similar in that it uses a lot of vegetables. The uh, Nordic diet does have an emphasis on cruciferous vegetables, that's why we're doing the cabbage. And the, they do use canola oil instead of olive oil because that was the locally available mm. plant. And canola oil is actually extremely healthy. It's very high in omega-3s and relatively low in omega-6. And that is part of the anti-inflammatory uh, component of the diet. Nice. Okay, so now that we have our onion chopped up, I'm gonna cut up couple of red apples as well. So in, in the traditional cabbage recipe, a, studio, a braised cabbage recipe, they use sugar. So we've eliminated the sugar in this recipe to make it healthier. And they traditionally use a green tart apple. And in this recipe, to give the, the dish a little bit of sweetness that it's lacking from, from taking out the sugar, we are using a honey crisp apple. Right. And, and it's a local honey crisp Apple, natural healthy fall. sweetness. And again, that is one of the key components of the New Nordic diet, trying to eliminate added sugars and um, get the sweetness from good local healthy produce. We use quite a bit of local produce. I do produce. use, and whenever possible, I, I like to support my local farmers. I got my start in my business by doing farmers markets, and I think. Uh, it's important to support them, and it just makes food taste so much better. It does. So it does. you don't have to add all this nasty extra. No, and it's ingredients it's close by. Okay, so our apple is cut up, and we're going to come over to the stove. And um, in the stove, we're going to use two tablespoons of heart healthy canola oil. A bit. About medium high heat, and actually, canola oil has a higher smoke point than olive oil. So right. Good for sauteing. Right. And we're going to saute our onion. Okay. And that nice hot oil. And we talked last time about who was going to cut the onions, and <laughs> and nobody cried. Here. I know. We didn't cry. I know. I know. Nobody and what's cried. The secret to food processor. Yes. So we're going to use that. We're having my husband cut the onions. There you go. Too. That's my idea. So we're going to cook up our onion a little bit. And once that is nice and soft, we're going to add our red, which I think is purple, 
cabbage, and the cabbage is gonna go right into the hot oil. Heart healthy ingredients, including polyphenol. So, the deeper the color of the vegetables, you have extra nutrients. So, we're going to give this a stir, and to this onion and cabbage, mm -hmm. we're going to add a tablespoon of uh, caraway seed and a teaspoon yes, of um, sea salt. Okay. Well, we're not adding our pine needles, which sounds a little strange, probably. Um, but pine needles and some local um, uh, pine boughs actually are used in Nordic cooking in hmm. Norway and Sweden. Um, we are going to modify it to American tastes, and I don't believe we have the same pine trees. No, here, so we are going to use. <laughs> we'll just use apple access. Yes. Very nice. And then from here, we go with some apple cider vinegar. A cup. Pure. There's a cup of apple cider vinegar as well as a cup of water. So from here we're going to let our cabbage get started and this is going to cook very pretty, for, it is very pretty. <laughs> it's going to cook for about 25 minutes on medium heat. You want to cover that nice and tight. And I cheated a little bit and got one started. So this is halfway through the cooking process. So halfway through, this is the onion, the cabbage, the cider mm. vinegar, and the water. Mm, man, Naturally this sweet, good. it smells fantastic. It's very, very good. So, like I said, we took a, in a traditional braised cabbage, there's usually sugar. So in, um, being able to take out the sugar, we want to add a little sweetness to this dish. So we're going to do that by using uh, a sweet apple. So this is a local New Hampshire Honeycrisp apple. And we're going to add this apple right to this dish. So it's going to, you know, melt and get all yummy. It smells so good right it does. now. <laughs> and it's sweet and I'm getting a vinegar facial. Mm. And we're going to give that a stir. And then it's just going to go back on the pot. I mean, it's a pretty easy, it's not a quick but it's uh, in total cooking time, it'll be about an hour. Um, so it's not a quick. It's quick? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's just chopping three vegetables, and then you have this really yummy, tasty dish. And this is what our end product will look like. Fantastic. Sound good? All right. And then have a little taste of the Perfect. Let's try it. All right. <laughs> Here we have that braised red cabbage. So pretty it is. With the local honey crisp apples. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. All right. Thank All right. you. Thank you for coming to cook with me. Thank you so much. Let's give this a try right now. Mm, it's delicious. really good. It's really tender. Really Very sweet, naturally. So good. Very good. So if you would like to see the recipe, you can see it on Physicians Healthy Weight Center, healthyweightcenter.com. And also on Melissa's website, sweetmelissaskitchen.com. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.